I am the chair for the uh, Hurricane Katrina Crisis Committee, which is a committee focusing on the events immediately before and then after and like far after Hurricane Katrina. So we're focusing on evacuation efforts, um, rescuing people who get you know trapped by the floods or whose homes are destroyed, and then rebuilding New Orleans in the long run. So um, rebuilding road infrastructure, housing infrastructure, getting resources from different NGOs and things of that nature. I chose Hurricane Katrina as the topic for our crisis committee uh, because during my senior year of high school my theater group took a trip to New Orleans. Uh, this was about 10 years after the hurricane hit and we were still able to see, I guess, uh, parts of the city that were damaged and had not yet been repaired. Uh, so to me it was really interesting to think that we perceive Hurricane Katrina as a one-time event that required a major effort, but in fact it is an ongoing effort to rebuild the city. I think press corps is really important because I think it's important for high schoolers to think about, well, for everyone, um, and to start young, like in high school, um, thinking about how the news is reported, um, because that really reflects a lot on how you see the world, what kind of news you're taking in. And I think the experience of writing the news and gathering information and writing about what's happening in these committees is, is useful for thinking about that. The Mississippi Freedom Summer was a campaign within the civil rights movement focused on voter registration for as many black voters as possible in one of the most disenfranchised states in the union, um, creating citizenship education programs, kind of teaching political literacy to a lot of these newly registered voters, creating a parallel political party because they, a lot of these voters felt like their need, needs weren't being met or represented properly by the Democratic Party at the time. So I chose this topic because I think history books and um, just a lot of general knowledge seems to skim over very important parts of the civil rights movement. And um, you know, you think of the civil rights movement and you think Martin Luther King Jr., Rosa Parks, but you don't often hear about these um, really important uh, and really monumental figures within the movement that don't get recognized a lot. And I think it's really important for um, everyone to know more about the hard work they did, um, how much they put their lives at risk, and a lot of the struggles within the movement that they had to face. So this is a really important topic um, for the current state of affairs and for high schoolers especially to learn about. Um, with the war against ISIS, uh, the Kurds have gotten more and more power, and um, there's always talk of independence, and uh, this can be a very like basic discussion where people don't really recognize what independence um, kind of beckons with it because uh, independence isn't just about like a country being free it's, it also has to coexist with its neighbors and um, have internal peace so I chose this topic because World War II seems to be a very pertinent and important uh, aspect of like just human history in general and every Maldi one thing that goes into it is always from the Allies perspective. It's always the United States, Russia, United Kingdom. So I want to go in at it from the Japanese perspective because uh, their culture, their government at the time was very interesting and I think it offers uh, new insight into how uh, an empire in the 20th century works and how, an ex like, how to expand that kind of thing. Um, it's just something I haven't seen done before which is why I really wanted to get into it. Um, I've always loved World War II personally, uh, and my chair, uh, Michael, has always loved World War II. So it's something that we both really were excited to get into. I've been working on this idea for a while now, um, and very excited to get it started. Uh, I think the delegates will have an interesting time dealing with the uh, foreign uh, governmental aspects of it and the military aspects of man towing the line between like global war and managing a vast empire that spans the Pacific. So. It's going to be an interesting weekend and I look forward to it.